What's up YouTube, I'm Mr. No Name, or Max as people know him in the real world, and today I'm bringing you guys some more competitive classes, and this time it's for Blitz, I've gotten actually more requests for Blitz than S&D classes, it's just I felt more comfortable with my S&D game, so I brought those out first. Uh, these Blitz classes actually have a lot of variety in them, I like to change it up a lot in Blitz, I'm still not, you know, fully comfortable on, like, every single map playing the same kind of role, so I don't want to necessarily play AR, AR on every single map, sorry my words got jumbled there a little bit but yeah so getting into it my first three classes are AR classes and they're meant for getting set up on a spawn trap and this first one is my regular AR this is kind of the one that I like to use off the start if I don't think they're gonna use smokes or if they don't have any smokes then th this is probably the class I'll go with um, I just prefer to you know have that blue dot on there and you know without thermal I find it's a lot easier to aim I don't know if that's just me but you know so if, if they don't have smokes, this is the class I want. And one thing to point out here is I do have fully loaded on, and that's fairly important to have on at least several AR classes. Uh, you know, because if, if you're the one getting set up on spawn traps, you need to have enough ammo. You're going to be getting a lot of kills. You need to be doing the slaying power and keeping them in their spawn. So you, you need to have enough ammo in there. Um, and then, of course, I have agility, quick draw, dead silence, focus, and then the fully loaded. Alright, next class is my just regular thermal AR class, and it's basically the same as the last one, I just have a thermal on it, and then uh, attack resist it become, comes before blast shield. Uh, I just, for, for me on this class, I'm just like, eh, I don't know which one I want first, so I just went with attack resist, uh, just to, so that they can't stun me on it. Um, I feel like this one is a little bit further range, so I'm not quite as worried about grenades. I might be able to see them incoming and get out of the way whatnot I don't know it's, it's just a preference there you can do what you want with it next one is my thermal trophy class and this is one where if we already have map control this is what I want to use and especially if they're using nade stuns smokes so basically I got that thermal I've got incog and I've got a trophy system so I'm very very hard to kill um, of course you know a, a well-placed nade while my trophy is not down could could work but uh, this is this is a pretty pretty solid class here. You don't want to pull it out right away because it doesn't have any mobility really. So, you know, this is this is one for mid to late game once you already have map control and then, you know, you can switch out with somebody and push up, get on that spawn trap and you can just stay there for quite a while and they they're going to have to push around from behind or something on you because they if you get set up right, they shouldn't be able to challenge you very easily from the front where you're, you know, looking down your sight. So, very, very good slaying class uh, mid to late game. Alright, my next three classes are some machine gun ones meant for a more aggressive play style, which I use sometimes, but not all the time. Next, uh, th so this one is my Russian class, it's Vector, and I've got a blue dot and grip, and then a concussion, you know, just to kind of stun them, stun check spawn or stun check a building or whatever. Uh, just kind of keep them not being able to aim quite as well, so I can just kind of run in there if I need to. Or keep them from, like on freight, you know, just kind of stun them in their spawn and then just run in there so that I can score. But uh, yeah, this is just my relay class. If if I'm not part of the spawn trap and we've got the spawn trap going, this is what I'm going to put on because I can just run it and just keep going and going and going. And uh, yeah, so I got agility, marathon, steady aim, dead silence, and focus. And yeah. Alright, next class is my sneaking class and I've still got the vector on with the blue dot and the grip. Only I've got a smoke this time, and I've got incog, and I don't have steady aim. Um, the reason for this is because with this class, I plan on getting on in, into fewer gunfights. I'm gonna let people run past me a lot more with this, and I'm just gonna try and get those sneaky caps. This is for when we don't have the spawn trap going, and I'm playing the submachine gun roll, or if we just can't seem to get the spawn trap like at all. Like if they're just really good about keeping us off of that and we got to resort to more of a sneaky style of play, then this is what I'm going to do. The, the, this class right here, it's really, really nice for getting in there. Um, you just got to be careful with your gunfights, because of course I don't have quick draw or steady aim, so it's a little bit difficult, but it can be done. Um, I, I still like this class quite a bit. Alright, my next one is my MTAR class, and this is... You know, kind of a hybrid class. It's for when I'm kind of playing a submachine gun role and kind of playing the AR role for Blitz. Uh, th this is probably what I use more when we want to play four submachine guns. 
Um, so that we still have somebody in a slaying po power position. I can use this Mtar. This is for, you know, a much smaller map. Uh, probably... Gosh, what's the map? I, I'm completely drawing a blank. But if, we're, if we happen to play four subs on, on Freight, for example, if we don't want to play an AR, which I would still you know, normally run an AR, but this is a class you could use if you're going to play four subs or if you just want a more, more slaying power if your AR isn't able to do it alone. So, yeah, this is just an extra support. So I got Muzzle Break and Grip and then a Simtex and a Smoke. So that I can, you know, cut off some things, make people check, maybe even sneak in for a couple caps. And I got Ready Up, Marathon, Steady Aim, Dead Silence, Focus. And, uh, yeah, this this class is very, very similar to my S&D MTAR class, except for the, the tactical there. I mean, other than that, it's pretty much the exact same. So, you know, it's just a nice little class to have. Uh, not one that I use the most. I probably, the, the best, the, the classes I use the most are these top three. And then um, the sneaking class. Those those are the ones that I use the most. So, yeah, I hope this helped. So, as you guys can see, we're coming to the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, then please like, comment, and or subscribe. If you didn't, let me know what I can do better next time. Um, yeah, once again, I forget my outro. This is, this is becoming a thing. I've got to think about it before I record next time. This is strange. I'm sorry. But, uh, yeah, peace out, guys.